Hello, my name is Eliza Monday. My name is Jermaine Bella. And I'm Emily Stoltenberg, and we're part of the S Colonial Forge SMHS chapter. Um, our presentation is on the robotic technologies in the workplace. The question we researched was how has automation impacted society and the economy over the years? What we'll be looking at in terms of the technology um, categories is artificial intelligence, automated technologies, which includes transportation and assembly robots. So main concerns about robots in factories and other workplace environments is that they will replace jobs, affect future job security and the capabilities of robots. When I say capabilities, I don't mean robot apocalypse, but rather how much they will impact and take away jobs in the future. A quote that exemplifies this says, despite the such positive views, it is also prom predominantly envisioned that a future robotic society will result in major job loss. But th this is frankly refuted by history. We see multiple times when huge inventions such as the cotton gin and the modern day computer have brought entire fields of um, workforce jobs and different employment strategies. Okay. Um, we here we're doing a Venn diagram comparing and contrasting industrial revolution and the present day technologies and we see lots of um, things that require much more human like labor work and the present day which is much more automated and even though there's our difference, it still requires man to use them. Uh, for um, going further into this presentation, a term that you should be aware of is Industry 4.0. This is the industry that is the most recent it's to present day, and it includes smart technology, networks such as the internet, and stuff like that. And it has been here since the 1990s. Okay, so I will be going over robotic technology in the workplace. Um, so our, an important term to know is cobot or collaborative robot, which are robots that work with humans seamlessly. Um, they work together. So how can this robotic technology be helpful? It improves workplace safety. Um, it can complete tasks that humans don't want to do because they're like tedious or really hard to do. Um, and they can perform multiple tasks at the same time. They're also very mobile and very efficient, which is a great plus side. Um, how can they be unhelpful or harmful? So they are very expensive. Um, they work slower because it's performing multiple tasks at the same time. And as we said, they're expensive, they're hard to afford. Um, but it does seem like after using them for a while, they will pay for themselves, essentially. So that's another plus side. In conclusion, um, robot technology will increase productivity as it decreases work, um, workplace hazard. It increases speed, but doesn't have to be paid. It is more efficient than human workers. Hello, my name is Gemma, and I will be exploring the role of robotic technology in the economy. Before I begin, I would like to first define the economy, which is the wealth and resources of a country, especially in terms of production and consumption of goods and services. Automation encourages productivity. When there is greater productivity, there is also greater production and consumption of goods. For example, if a worker is more productive, they will produce more goods and in turn lower prices. If there are lower prices, then the worker will be more likely to spend money and invest in the economy. This quote um, is please, thank you. Um, this point is summarized by renowned economist Richard Ackerson, who states that automation will create a virtuous cycle of increased investments, higher productivity, more spending, and more investment in turn. Overall, automation will be beneficial to the economy. Next slide, please. Robotic technology will also increase employment. Um, new jobs will have to be created to, form, to work with the robots, also called codependency, which is mentioned by Emily. Increased employment will contribute greatly to the economy because it will encourage investing and spread um, and spending. It will also contribute to the GDP or gross domestic product. Experts do highlight how developed countries will benefit first from automation because of how sensitive it is to implement. Regardless, Developing countries will soon follow and overall the entire world will benefit from automation. Thank you.